hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have completed the obstacle deduction or you can say object deduction now in this video we will detect the object height and in the previous video by mistake I have told you that this ray length will be the height of the ray cars but this will not be the height of the ray cars this will be the you can say the width of the ray cars okay as you can see right here when we play the game you can see this is the the green line is the ray cast length okay so whatever that will be inside this length will be detected okay and if it is not then as you can see it will be green and nothing will be detected now we want to do the same for the height of the ray cast okay so this part of the environment checker is done now we can detect the object okay so as I told you in this video we will detect the object height so we will do that in the same way as we did for the length of the ray cast so right here after this debug we will say if hit data dot hit found okay we will only measure the height of the object if that object is the is on the obstacle layer okay or else we will not be detecting the height of anything except that is on the obstacle layer so that's why we are using this if condition right here so if we find something that is on the obstacle layer then we want to measure the height of that object okay so after this ray length we will create a public float by the name of height ray length right here make the r capital height ray length and by default this will be equals to 6 then after this right here in the if condition we will detect the height but before doing that right here let's first of all create the variables for that okay so after this hit info let's create a raycast hit variable for the height raycast as well so we will say public raycast hit and let's name this as height info okay and right here we will create a bool for it as well so we'll say public bool and let's name this as height hit found okay that is it and then if we click right here between the if condition right here first of all we want to give the origin to the height ray cast okay so the origin of the height recast will be basically that hit position so for example if they consider this as a wooden box okay and if the player come closer to it okay then it will create a recast like this okay so as you can see right here this point hits this box so now from this point okay from this point we want to create the height raycast so right here we will create a height raycast like this okay so in order to create the origin for the height ray we will we will create a variable by the name of height origin and right here we will say hit data dot hit found dot point so what this actually means that wherever we found that hit okay on that point we want to create the height ray cast okay so we will say plus vector 3 dot up okay we want to create the ray in the upward direction so we will say vector 3 dot up and we will multiply that by the height of the ray cast okay for the height ray cast so as you can see right here this is the value 
so we will multiply that by the height ray length okay so as I told you this is the position of the hit point okay this is this position then from this position we want to create a height ray in the upward direction so that's why we use vector 3 dot up and we multiply that by the height ray length and this will this blue line will be the length of the height ray okay so this code will basically do that I am I am explaining this step by step so that you guys know what we are doing okay so now we have created the origin okay as you can see now we have the origin set right here now we want to create a raycast now so for creating the raycast we will simply say hit data dot height hit found okay it means that yes we have found a height hit okay so this will be equals to physics dot raycast okay and now we will do simply the same thing as we did right here okay we first pass the origin and then the position then we store the information then we give it the length and then we give it the layer as well so we will do that same thing right down below for the height as well so first of all we want to give it the origin so the origin as you can see we defined the origin up there in this line so we will just simply call the height origin right here first of all then we want to set the position the direction will be vector 3 dot down since we will be creating this height ray from this down position in the upward direction okay so that's why we are using the vector 3 dot down right here then we want to store the information and as you know we already create a height info right there so we will say out then hit data dot height info then the length of this ray will be the height ray length so height ray length call it right there okay then we will pass the layer so the layer will be simply the obstacle layer and as you know we will be creating a visual for this ray as well just as we did for that one so we can just simply copy this and paste it down below and instead of the ray origin we will now use the height origin and then instead of the transform dot forward we will use vector 3 dot down okay then instead of the ray length we will pass the height ray length and then instead of this hit found we will say height hit found and for the height we want to change the color to blue okay so we will change it to blue like that when we are creating a ray so the ray color will be blue that is it so now if we just simply save this and before going back to unity make sure that you change this d to small and also right here we use the bool okay which is head found we don't need to type the hit found because this is a pool we actually need this hit info okay because in this hit info we stored the information so make sure that you change that okay to hit info dot point or whatever you name your raycast hit okay and if you save that get back to unity right here and then let's play the game as you can see now there is the ray so now we can't see the height ray but if we get closer to this store you can now notice the height ray okay it is now in the forward direction okay so now it is showing the height ray for every object we have a character controller issue right there but we will decrease the step height now let's check this one as you can see from the point where which is 
hitting the box collider of this table from that point as you can see it shows this height ray cast in the upward direction okay so this means that our environment checker is working perfectly fine okay so now we are ready to perform some parkour so from the next video onwards we will be adding the parkour